Hi. Okay, so for this Sunday morning coffee podcast, we're going to do a meditation. It might be more of a sweet, gentle rocking of your soul, of the energy that moves within you, that moves through you and around you. Whether you recognize it or not, you are an energetic being. You are made up of energy and the miraculous systems within your body are equally matched by the grids and the connected web of energy that's around you. Some refer to these as your etheric field or your auric field, your aura, or perhaps your chakras if you're considering the inner energies or meridians, for example. So for today, let's move with the sweetness of the energy that you are. Let's connect to that gentle, supportive energy now. So take a moment to just get yourself comfortable. Notice the natural rhythm of your breath. Oftentimes we will be holding our breath up high in the body up high or tight in the stomach and the upper diaphragm. Just give yourself permission to relax those muscles in the stomach. Literally stick your belly out like a Buddha. Just do it right now. It, trust me, it's easy. This is how you do it if you're going to meditate or connect in, okay? Just stick your belly out like a Buddha. There you go. Feels silly, doesn't it? But it works, doesn't it? If you stick your belly out and then you try to breathe in and out, Ah, oh, you have to. You are forced to realign. So then nice big exhales. Focus on your exhale now. Just notice how you're breathing and exhale out. <sighs> Sigh it out. <clears throat> exhale. Go ahead. Just take a nice breath in and then exhale. <sighs> Do it again. <sighs> Force that air out of that body. <sighs> Okay, now stick your belly out again. Yeah, okay, good. You see? In this way, then, you give your physical body permission to connect with your breath. You bring your mind in. So your body's engaged and active. Your mind is helping to manage the process of flow as the air moves into the body. through your inhales and out of your body, through your exhales. It is a gentle rhythmic cycle. You don't have to choreograph your breath, just allow the natural rhythm of your breath. You can breathe in your nose or your mouth, whatever works for your body at this moment. No judgment here, there's no judgment. Be present with me, can you do that? Feel the energy. As you draw in life, air, element. You don't usually have to think about this. But as you do, you bring awareness to the breath. You are focusing on energy. You can't see energy, but you can feel and sense it. (sighs) One of the easiest ways is through the breath. Again, you don't have to choreograph your breath. There's no practice here. It is just giving you this awareness and this now moment of energy. Energy in your body coming into the body through air, through breath, through breathing. Something you do naturally all the time. This is energy. This is connection. Simple. Yeah, it's that simple. Breathing in. And exhaling out. Wow, my exhales are kind of loud today. Sorry about that. I hope it's not. (laughs) If a giggle or a laugh comes out, welcome it. Laughter is also energy. It's the body connecting with feeling and emotion. It's that heart chakra allowing a gentleness. Softening your heart space, allowing yourself to feel 
the simplicity of the joy of receiving breath, of receiving air, of receiving life-affirming energy by simply breathing. Breathing in and exhaling out. You might find your physical body as you're sitting, I'm sitting at the moment and I'm feeling my sits bones, my hips and pelvis. I'm actually sitting with my legs crossed and <clears throat> upon a surface that's holding me up and really supporting me. And I'm finding my body wanting to rock gently and move gently. <clears throat> if you're sitting in a chair, you may want to do the same. Notice what your body wants to do. It kind of happens naturally. This is the energetic that happens when your physical body is connected to your energetic awareness. So I'm rocking sort of left and right. You might be going forward and back or maybe you're stretching or gently turning your body. Whatever is working for you, do that. Honor how the energy is coming in and partnering with your human body. Look at that. Energy is the language of our spirit, and it is here and intended to support your human experience. As your body feels energy, allow your body to respond to it, to receive it, to dance with it. You might actually want to get up and sway as though you are dancing. My yoga friends, you might want to do some Sufi circles or some cat cow to just connect in. Remember to bring your awareness back to how you're breathing, how the air energy is coming into the body and rejuvenating you, lighting your body up. If you can imagine at the base of your spine, a light bulb, literally at your root chakra, at your base of your tailbone, right there, yet that sacred center lighting up turning on through the energetic elements of the air, bringing that energy, that shining light up into the body, up into the the pelvis and illuminating, illuminating your sacral center, illuminating the energy that is within you. And as you're breathing, you are helping to, to allow that energy to just expand and warm your body at the center core, your engine room of your pelvis and your hips, and then up in to that stomach, to that belly button area of the solar plexus. This is the temple of our spirit, the place of your soul, your intuition, your gut feeling. Feel these energy centers now. Feel the energy here as you breathe in. And exhale out and perhaps gently swaying your body, allowing that physical nervous system to relax. Gentle movements, rhythmic, repetitive movements calm the nervous system through awareness of breath, through rocking, through sitting in a rocking chair, a rocker glider, or just simply walking in a, in a gentle fashion like The baby inside the mama's belly, this calms your nervous system, helps you to really feel connected and contented with your energy. Okay, breathing in and exhaling out. That light bulb at that base chakra, just turning on. There's no forcing, no no challenge, no gate to pass through. Just It just is. It's on. And it's warming the lower body, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and the solar plexus, your spirit. Oh, that spirit chakra, imagine your belly button like the sun. As you breathe in, I want you to picture yourself actually breathing into that little belly button space there. And as you exhale out, you are just shining rays of the sun That solar plexus, that belly button chakra, is also considered the sun chakra. Beautiful, action-oriented energy, shining your light into the world, shining your way on your path. There's no pressure to lead here. There is only being in connection here. This is the point of this exercise, being in connection with yourself, your soul, your energy of you. 
All right, so breathe in to that belly. Just breathe in in the belly. Literally maybe touch your tummy, touch your belly button and just breathe in and then exhale out. When you exhale out, visually imagine beams of light as they come in through a window, kind of glittery and golden white yellow beaming out into the world, down onto the path that you're walking on, lighting your way, shining your steps with purpose. Even if you're not physically moving, even if in your life you feel stuck, even if in your life you are critical at this time, you are sad or heavy weighted down, the feeling or the emotion will not stop the beautiful natural momentum of your energy light shining. You will always shine. You always have this light inside you and you will always shine. So shine now onto the next steps for yourself, breathing in this energy of light, receiving this energy from the natural world into the belly and then exhaling it out. Ah. So now as you breathe, you... Have this full awareness of your physical body, of the root, of the sacral, of the solar, of your energy centers inside you. And you have this awareness of this light bulb at your base chakra lighting up for you inside. And at the same exact time, and at the same time, you can breathe in the energy from nature from life, from the beautiful earth as it is blossoming or coming into springtime, bringing in that life-affirming prosperity energy that just rejuvenates and grows and offers optimism and hope again, breathing that in. You can breathe that in right directly to your belly button to your solar plexus, and then it will recharge and expand that energy center, that yellow golden light spirit of yours, that intuition of yours, that purposeful life awareness of yours. And when you exhale out, then it will shine the way for you. It will shine the steps on the path. It will shine a light so you will see that you are not sitting in darkness You are not seated in the shadow. You might be in the shade at the moment, but there is light coming from your spirit chakra, your belly, in back into the world to come into the next place on your journey. And you might, your role might only be to witness this as it lights up. But this energy is for you to have awareness of the connection that you always have available. So breathe in. Breathe right into that that, that belly. Breathe right in. Take a nice breath in. Receiving that nurturing nature energy, just receiving the prosperity and the hope and then exhaling out. (sighs) Shining the light onto the next steps. This doesn't have to be action-oriented. This can be observation-based. There's no pressure to act. And at the same time, the solar plexus energy, this yellow energy, this time that we are in at this point, as we are, I'm recording this in May, we are in this energy of the Beltane and on the Celtic wheel of the year, and we are stepping into the more masculine, the Heros time of the year. We have passed through the feminine and now we are stepping into the masculine. And with that, there is more of a tendency for an outward motion or expression or action. Just like in the springtime, we, where I live, we come out of the winter and we step out into the green grass and we feel the sense of just rejuvenation because we can now be outside without a coat on and sometimes in bare feet. And that is exhilarating and life-affirming, and that is action-based, then I want to be outside more. This is the same for the energy that surrounds you, that encompasses you and enfolds you and supports you on your walk every moment of every day. You have access to energy that supports you 
and reminds you of your choices, reminds you of the possibilities, reminds you that you are not alone. You're not solo. You may feel those things because there has been a sense of disconnection, potentially a feeling of abandonment or separation. And yet here you are in your energetic awareness, connected to the human body as you are moving the breath and the air, as you are swaying the body as needed, as you are stretching your body and reaching out to really feel and connect with life once again in a renewed way, in a very grounded and centered way. So now in this energetic practice, we have connected into that root chakra, to the sacral chakra, and to the solar plexus, this is where we will focus. This is where we will center today. Yes, the heart empaths, I know. It's an important place, isn't it? The throat, speaking the truth, knowing your truth, being honest with yourself, an important place as well. The third eye, that vision, visionary for the future, and awareness manifesting in the crown chakra of divine wisdom. Yes, all of the chakras, all of the energy centers within your body are very important. And today we are focusing on the lower three, the root, the sacral, and the solar. Connected in through alignment, rich red. Oh, that just vibrant orange and that golden yellow. These are the colors of the flame, the fire that drive, the passion, that warm and soothe you, that provide light, that provide the fuel to nurture you, to resource you, the fire that can be shared through other parts of your energetic field and into your life in all of the ways that you are connected to others. This is how you resource. You utilize energy. Your energy being, your energy body. It won't just sustain you. It will help you to thrive. It will support what matters to you. And it is not intellectual. It is not an intellectual connection. It is a spiritual one. It is a soulful one for you. And when I say spiritual, I mean the spirit in you, communing with that, connecting with that, and working with the human body to express through the human experience. It is not one or the other. You are both. You are a beautiful, vibrant being of light. You are a mind. You are a body, a beautiful body. You are a gorgeous heart open and empathic and you are a spirit an energy body and being you are all of these things you are not just one you don't choose one you are all of these all you are all you're everything receive that in the simplest form through the breath breathe in And exhale out. And one more time, feeling grounded and centered in body, mind, heart, and soul. Breathe in. Exhale out. Come into your center, into your wholeness. Body, mind, heart, and soul. And with that, move on into your day, feeling whole and connected. Feel like the vibrant light being that you are. Thank you so much for listening. I hope I've inspired your spirit today and filled you with some hope and encouraged you to live your life. Thank you so much for being a part of Above Life channel on YouTube. I so look forward to connecting with you through Sunday morning coffee podcasts and through our Monday channeling sessions as well. Thanks for being here.